Hi, this is Kartik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you introduction to control structures, that is loops in C++. Once again, I repeat the topic introduction to control structures, that is loops in C++. First, let me see the objectives. The objectives are introduction to loops and types of loops the for loop the while loop the do while loop first we'll discuss about introduction to loops what is a loop why we want to use loop the loops are used to iterate and control the code whenever you want to repeat a piece of code a number of times you want to use loop as well as if you wish to control the code or a program during the time also you can able to use loop there are three types of loops namely the for loop the while loop the do while once again i repeat the process what is a loop loops are used to iterate and control the code there are three types of loops namely the for loop the while loop the do while loop first let me discuss on for loop. We'll see the syntax for initialization, followed by condition, and followed by increment or decrement operator. And within the curly braces, you're allowed to write your code. Once again, I repeat the process. The for loop syntax is for initialization, followed by condition and followed by increment or decrement operator or increment or decrement and within the curly braces where this area where we can able to put our code now we'll see the flow control for for loop so initialization expression that is nothing but initialization and followed by the test condition and if the test condition is true it will execute the statement and execute the update statement again it will check for the test condition and the process will continue unless or until the condition fails and another option is if the condition fails that is false exit the for statement once again i repeat the process enter the for loop statement first is initialization expression and then it will go for test the condition if the condition true it execute the statements and execute the update statement and again it will go back to test the condition the loop will continue until or unless the condition is true if the condition is false it access the for statement now we are going to see an example for for loop so ash include ivo stream dot h and followed by ash include con ivo dot h either you can use integer main or void main and followed by the for loop for integer x equal to zero this part is called as initialization and followed by condition x is less than 10 this this part is called as condition and x equal to x plus one or x plus plus this is called as increment or decrement now we are using increment and we I'm going to display the output C out equal to X and anyway I'm going to use integer main so that I want to return some integer value I'm going to return 0 if you run the program the output will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 how initially the condition X equal to 0 X less than 10 it will print 0 and it will increment X plus 1 and next time now x equal to 1 1 is less than 10 yes again the loop will continue 2 is less than 10 yes 3 is less than 10 yes 4 is less than 10 until or unless 9 now the condition is 9 9 is less than 10 yes it will print 9 then x equal to x plus 1 that is 9 equal to 9 plus 1 that is 10 now it will check 10 is less than 10 now the loop ends and next we are going to discuss about the while loop you, uh, what is the other name for while loop it's an entry control loop what is the name entry control loop in case of while loop 
while loop first check the condition and execute the statement right first it will check the condition if the condition is satisfied it will execute the statement or else it will exit the loop so let me see the syntax for while loop while followed by condition within the curly braces you want to write the piece of code or your code and now you see flow control so enter the while statement first it will check the condition test the condition if the condition is true execute the statement again it will go back to check the condition so the loop will continue unless or until the condition fails if the test condition fails exit the while statement now we'll see an example for for loop sorry while loop or entry control loop so followed by hash include i was stream dot h hash include con i was dot h and followed by void main integer i equal to zero and where we are going for while i is less than ten. What is the i value zero? And I'm going to print the i value and then I'm going to increment the i value by i plus plus. So now we'll analysis the loop. First i equal to zero. Zero is less than ten. Yes. So it will print zero again. I will be incremented to 1 again 1 is less than 10 yes it will print 1 now it will be incremented to 2 again it will continue 2 2 is less than 10 yes 3 is less than 10 4 until or unless 9 is less than 10 and it will be incremented to 10 now I value is 10 10 is less than 10 no so the loop ends when you compile and run the program the output will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so now do while so do while or exit control loop because the do while first execute the statement and then check the condition in case of do while if you are using do while it will execute the loop at least one, one first time or at least once right once again a repeat the process in case of do while it execute the statement at least once because do while execute the statement and then check the condition in case of while loop first check the condition and execute the statement but in case of do while it execute the statement and then check the condition now we'll see the syntax so do followed by opening and closing curly braces where you want to specify the statements and followed by the while condition now we'll see the flow control so enter do while statement first it will execute the statement and then test the condition if this condition satisfied again it will go for the execution if the condition fails it will exit the do while statement now we'll see an example for do while followed by ash include i was stream dot h ash include con i dot h void main integer i equal to zero it's a declaration part so do I'm going to print the i value c out i and then I'm going to increment the i value while i is less than 10. The same process first, first it will print the i value and then it will check for the condition. And now if you compile this and check the output. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.